fit there. All right, now to new information we're learning in the shooting that occurred at a Detroit Coney Island that left three people dead. That shooting was caught on security cameras, and Chief Craig says his investigators are pouring over that video as we await charges for the suspect. Larry Spruill is following this story for us tonight. Uh, Larry, the chief has a lot to say about this. A lot indeed, Kimberly. As a matter of fact, he called that suspect a coward, and he says what happened here at this Coney Island behind me is a tragic situation. Now, he had a lot more to say than that. Take a listen. Another cowardly criminal. That's really the nicest thing Chief James Craig can say about a man who shot and killed three people inside this Coney Island. The video is too graphic to show in its entirety, but it paints the terrible picture of the shooting inside A Eagles Coney Island on Dexter Avenue near Joy Road. Police sources confirmed to me the suspect is 25 years old. He shot four men between the ages of 20 and 34 Sunday night. Three of them shot inside the restaurant. The fourth one shot in the parking lot. Police say three victims died and the other one is in critical condition. But when we asked Chief Craig, why did this happen? I wish I could tell you. Uh, we've been really pouring over this. We've watched the video several times. Uh, there was very little conversation between the suspect and one of the victims. Uh, we don't know if there was agitation. We don't know if the, the victim said something that enraged. Uh, but ultimately, he shot and killed three people. This past weekend was yet another violent one, so bad President Donald Trump suggested sending federal agents to deal with the violence, a plan that did not go over well with Governor Whitmer or Chief Craig. To suggest that the federal uh, troops uh, or federal agents should come in Detroit, uh, absolutely not. And we do know the suspect's name, but we are not releasing that information until he is formally charged and arraigned. We are expecting, my sources say, that will happen first thing tomorrow morning. Now, Chief Craig did say that the suspect has a record and was currently on probation already for a violent crime. Once again, he's expected to be arraigned first thing tomorrow morning. We're live on the Choice West Side tonight. Larry Spruill, Local 4.